Hey guys, Gaston with Rough Country. Today we're taking a look at our HD2 running board style steps. And heavy duty does not have to mean heavy weight. The HD2 step is a heavy duty lightweight step and we're able to achieve that using extruded aluminum with polymer accents and steel bracketry, giving you durability and great looks. Let's take a look at what the kit includes. First up, we have our main step, which is an extruded aluminum. Next up, we've got our polymer treads for traction and a sure footing every time. After that, we've got our end caps, adding style, protection, and preventing corrosion. Here we have our steel bracketry, putting the running board exactly in its place and making sure it stays there. And finally, of course, we've got all necessary hardware for the install. Let's put that hardware to use. We're gonna assemble the running board on the bench. Then we'll take our bracketry, install those on the truck. Finally, we'll take the running board to the truck and marry the two together. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is install our tread plates onto our running board. We're going to drop those into place, making sure that the brads on the back of the tread plate find their corresponding hole in the running board. Once we do that, we'll flip it over and secure it with the self-threading nuts. I'm gonna start the self-threading nut by hand, tighten these down. You don't have to smoke them to Alabama, just get them snug. They're gonna bite into the plastic, hold it exactly where you want it. And just like that, you've got your tread plate installed. I'll go ahead and install the second one and then we'll move on from there. All right, with our tread plates on, this next step is very important. You have to do it in this sequence before you put your end caps on or you'll be removing at least one of the end caps. We're gonna take our M6 by 20 millimeter bolt and slide four of them into each channel on the bottom side of the running board. We'll be using those later to attach the running board itself to the brackets on the truck. Next up, we're gonna take this M6 hex nut. We're gonna slide one in each channel on both ends of the running board. We'll use those to attach our end caps. We'll just drop the nut in the channel. We'll move it along a little bit with my Allen wrench. Do the same on this channel. And we'll take our end cap, line up the holes in the end cap with the nuts and attach it using the supplied bolts. <clears throat> Slide the nut, line it up with the hole, and insert our bolt. Get that started by hand. And we'll repeat the process here and on the opposite end of the running board. All right, and with the running board fully assembled, we can go ahead and get the brackets installed on the truck. I'll grab these M8 by 25 millimeter bolts with the corresponding washers and we'll get those brackets installed. On this Chevy, you're gonna have four brackets per side. Three are the exact same. The fourth is gonna have longer tabs on it. Your oddball bracket is your rear bracket. Now yours may vary depending on application, so check roughcountry.com for your specific instructions. Now each bracket is gonna install in a factory location. If your truck did not come with steps from the factory, you may have to remove a rubber plug to reveal the threads, but the holes are there. All right, now we're gonna repeat that seven more times. Three more on this side, four on the other side, then we'll be ready to install our running boards. I'm gonna set it in place. Uh, don't worry about lining up your bolts. You're gonna drive yourself crazy doing that. Just set the step in place. Then you can slide your bolts where you want them and drop them into the slots. We're gonna repeat that on the remaining brackets. Once we do that, we will position the running board, make sure we like where it is centered on the vehicle. And we will take our washers and lock nuts, tighten the running board down to the brackets. Finally, we'll torque these brackets to the truck and that's gonna complete the installation. And that's all it takes to install the Rough Country HD2 running boards on your truck. And the great thing about the brackets is that you can not only move the board forward and back and put it exactly where you want it, you can also move it side to side, that is away from the body or toward the body to get exactly the fit you want. On the driver's side, I've got it tucked into the pinch weld for a sleeker look. On the passenger side, I've got it pulled all the way out for a stepping area that is more accommodating. Let's get this truck off the lift and on the ground so we can see just how great these HD2 steps look on this Chevy. Lightweight, durable, and look great. The HD2 running board step. Head over to roughcountry.com and get yours today.